Hey everybody, I'm Jason Nichols and I am joined by Don Dino Spazzini. This is The Movie Passengers. Today we review Project Power, starring Jamie Foxx, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and uh, what's the what's the name of the, the young lady who um, is the newcomer in this movie? She was really good. I'm going to come out the gates hot on this one and say I really enjoyed this movie. I didn't expect much from it because it's like a Netflix action film. <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest, right? Yeah. Like, Netflix, they're getting better with their action films. But, uh, you know, like that Will Smith movie, um, Bright. I mean, the world building of that movie was cool, but uh, the movie's not that great. Like, um, I mean, it's not. It's okay. Uh, but then uh, the, uh, the Old Guard was pretty decent. I this one, I, one, I liked it. But this one, in my opinion, is the best Netflix action film thus far. At least as far as I've seen. I really dug it. They're all just kind of like fast and action, you know, nonstop. This one almost had a Jerry Bruckheimer-esque, like a, a young Jerry Bruckheimer, maybe. Isn't he the one that did The Rock? And he did. Of, yeah, Jerry and Bro Bad he Boys. did um, Bad Boys and Pirates of the Caribbean. And, yeah. I really enjoyed, uh, yeah, the movie is, is great in that it's entertaining and it's fun. Mm -hmm. um, and I, the backstory is pretty cool if they would have actually spent more time with that a little bit i would have uh because it can go way more into sci-fi and social consciousness kind of thing because mm -hmm. when the movie started i was even thinking of uh henrietta uh what's her name the yeah henrietta uh i forget her name but you're talking about the the woman who was experimented on Right, so I was just thinking I, that already came to my mind. So the fact that they... Or let me rephrase that, the woman whose uh, 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 sales they stole. Yes. What did you say earlier? Uh, that they did experiments on. Oh, right. Well, both, right, basically. Uh, but yeah, so I was already thinking about that. And then um, once it was mentioned, I was like, this is really cool. Now, my only, like qualm with it and it's not only really one only one qualm the whole film okay maybe multiple but i'll keep it to one okay is, is the very the very first scene okay at the dock and mm -hmm. like given when the, the robbery or the, the 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 deal the drug deal right the drug deal sure not needed like just seeing like the girl with her drug deal mm -hmm. would be so much just smoother like you don't have to lay it so thick because it just but like the movie is all about tropes right i think that's what we were kind of saying netflix is just putting out all these action films so they're all kind of just like trope on trope on trope which is yeah. fine but you don't have to lay it so thick of like who's this guy oh, i'm a new guy like, well, well okay so <laughs> there is a reason for that right I think there's a reason for that. If you would allow me, I think I can justify okay. it. And then I'll uh, add a second, but yeah, go for what it. What Netflix do is doing is they're, they're doing basically a new style of movie making because uh, this is a new time. Netflix is releasing these movies worldwide on the same day. So when you think about like, this is going to the Philippines, this is going to Japan, this is going to China, this is going to Russia, all over the place. What's happening is, is that uh, this is not exactly I'm trying to choose my words correctly here. This isn't exactly like, a, these aren't art films and this isn't like a thinking man's piece. This is just a raw action movie, right? So that everybody around the world can jump on at the same time, you know? Uh, and, and they do kind of have to do exposition like that because a 13 year old is watching it and then someone who's like 50 years old is who's half watching it. They're like, oh, okay, that's a good guy, identifiable. And then people are watching it in different languages and they're like, okay, good guy, bad guy, got it. Introduce all the characters, got it. Now what's the, where we, what are we fighting for? I think that's how it is. And I think that's how you're going to see all these Netflix movies. They're all aiming for, you know, one worldwide universal appeal day one without okay. anyone having to explain anything. That's all what right. I think. Uh, okay, I can see that. I will say uh, the movie is thought provoking. Because it does start dealing with, you know, what what's right and what's wrong kind of thing. And I think it could have even more, which they don't have to. It's an action film. I will say that my reason why that could have been taken out and it would have still, it would have added a layer of mystery, right? Mm -hmm. 
because from the get go, you just know like, oh, this is gonna be mind blowing. But you have the morning DJ talking about it throughout, which I thought was great. And I thought you could keep that and get rid of that very beginning. So we don't know who these drug dealer doofus is gonna be until a, a later act. For instance, it made me think of, when I was thinking about talking about this, it made me think of Robocop and mm -hmm. Batman, not just the movie, but in the, in the, in the graphic novels, uh, maybe Frank Miller and all that, where you hear everything from the different newscasters, right? Yeah. And even Batman, uh, the one with um, uh, Jack Nicholson and stuff like that, you see the newscasters and then even, you know, they have the transformation, right? In, yeah. in the Batman movie, when they get the poison or whatever. So you could do that. I, I just, you, you can mention over the phone uh, some other movie being a CW villain or a CW. It just, that one character who then I saw, the, one of the bad guys is in 300 and in a bunch of other movies that are very CGI-esque. It just felt so heavy handed. And it, like it, his performance? For that very first scene. And you got the bit, like I was, something about, I like, I almost turned it off. Like if we weren't, like, don't get me wrong. I loved the movie. I thought, I thought it was great and all that. But I almost decided to be like, if that, I didn't have that to. That first scene almost took you, took you to your limits. Yeah. <laughs> and the only, and I kept going and I was like, oh my God, that's what the, it's a CW bad guy or, you know, uh, something like that. Oh, by the way, so the, the girl, the, the main black girl, uh, is her name is Dominique Fishback, which yeah. she was great. And I think she's fantastic. She, she actually had more screen time than the two male leads because she's interacting uh, yeah. between the two of them and even, uh, you know, which I think is cool. And then because I, I was looking at things at the other characters and like who the daughter was. Mm -hmm. uh, she's actually in the Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks movie. Oh, wow. The, uh, that's a, a full circle situation, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, I just um, thought that was interesting. In reference to the thing that you said about the radio DJ playing narrator, mm -hmm. you could even go back a little bit further to The Warriors. Uh, the, the disc jockey in that movie is also doing the, the narration, which I think is superb. Uh, and then uh, Do the Right Thing also plays on that, where the, the DJ uh, is Samuel L. Jackson, who's also kind of the, the narrator of summer, so to speak, on the radio. So, yeah, it's a convention that's been used before, and I think right. they use it pretty well in this movie. Nice. Yeah. No, I liked it. It was uh, very much, very, uh, it made me think of Florida. I thought it was Florida until, you know, you got them dropping mm. New Orleans a lot and swamps and stuff. Yeah. yeah and having Justin Gordon Levitt with his Saints jersey. So yeah, some of the stuff is a little overhanded um, with Justin Gordon, Gordon Levitt or Levitt. He, um, he has a lot of exposition in the movie, which was starting to tick me off a little bit because he's like trying to tell the story, but he also represents New Orleans and the people of New Orleans. Like right. that's his, that's his over art, you know, thing or whatever. He's like, he is New Orleans in the movie. Mm -hmm. And um, he let us know that also. There, like he's wearing the jersey the whole movie, right? <clears throat> um, but and, and and he does. I think he does a good job, you know, with probably the blandest part in the movie. You know what I mean? Like far as like character development and the script and just the character just kind of being in this one note situation. Yeah. Um, he does a you know he he does about as well as you can. I feel with his performance, um, which says a lot actually. Uh, and I thought a lot of his stuff was overhanded exposition until he got to the point where something he, he made me start thinking. He says in the movie, like, you remember what happened when the government came down here. You know, they didn't care about New Orleans and we found out we were on our own. And that got me thinking about like all cities in America are actually on their own. When something goes down, the federal government is usually very little help at the time. And overall, throughout, they actually don't do a whole lot. The people usually find themselves like, oh, man, like we depended on the federal government and they didn't come through Flint. You know, like it just the people are usually on their own. So that's why it's so important on a local level that people take care of each other. People vote. People right. are active in like, you know, uh, uh, local civics. You know, that just got me my, my, my wheels turning. And 
I mean, I'm sure that's what the movie's trying to do. They're using New Orleans as the, <laughs> excuse me, the base for that. But it's also teaching people, you know, who want to think a little bit about it, that, yeah, you need to participate in what's going on in your community. I mean, because you are your community and you are all that you have. Like, no one's going to come save you. I, I feel that it was <laughs> that exact line. I was like, oh, I get it. A little heavy handed. But yes, it was one of those where there, I, w I wonder how the script evolved, if it, if it evolved at all. And if there was- I'm more, sure it evolved. But like, if there was more uh, backstory or background and like, it was, you know, more meat to it. And then I was like, we could just do an action film. We could <laughs> yeah, just get some be. big name. Which is totally fine. A very entertaining movie. Yep. I want to. Sammy ask Fox you. does a very good job of like you know, co-curing this movie, and, yes. and uh, Dominique uh, Fish. What's her name? Fish what? I'm about to say, say Fishburn. Fish but it's not Fishburn. I'm about to say Fishburn. It's Fish something. But she does a great job too. She's gonna have a nice career, I believe. Fishback. Fishback. Yeah, I can um, I can definitely see her in all types of roles. I thought that this movie could play pretty well in cinemas, actually. Yeah. Um, I, I thought that a couple times watching the movies, like, yeah, this wouldn't be too bad in cinemas. Also, Jamie Foxx and his, uh, he was bringing out his sense of humor. Like, there were moments where it was like, oh, this is just Jamie Foxx. You know, mm -hmm. like, it was kind of funny, like him trying to make a little baby. Like, you know, they, again, yeah. it had all these. Good, great sub, acting, man. It's, I mean, really. Layers that could have had all this depth added to it right yeah um, there's a great moment uh between uh dominique and jamie uh where you know without giving too much away she is uh working on him she's stitching him up or whatever and uh that last little beat of like yeah. playfulness you know what i mean it's almost like it's almost like it was a great improvised moment it feels like an improvised moment you know what i mean Right. Uh, and, I, and I really like it. Like, oh, yeah, they definitely, that wasn't in the script. And they definitely kept that. Like, and that's just good acting. Is, is there anything else that you want to talk about? Yeah, with let the me movies? ask you this, because, uh, you know, you bring up the Netflix and releasing all these movies. Would you pay to go see this movie at a movie theater? Mm, so if I'm being 100% honest, this isn't really the type of movie that appeals to me uh, cinematically like to pay money at a theater. Now you do know that I will go see anything just about right. in theaters, right? Because, right, you, I'm saying, because we we had movie pass, we've had, yeah. the, you know, the deals where you want to take advantage of it. But I'm sure. saying, if you got to cough up 12 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever. It, it wouldn't is. be my first choice. But if the recommendations were high enough, like from friends and whatnot, yeah, probably. But it would not be my first choice, probably on almost any weekend Same. of the year. Unless there was someone, <laughs> yeah, went to go see Bad Boys 3 just because the girl wanted to go see it. And I was like, yeah, I'll Can go. Can I go. be honest with you? I like this more than Bad Boys 3. Oh, okay. I did. Yeah, there are a couple of really good things in Bad Boys 3, though. Yeah, uh, for sure. But yes, I agree, because it's, it's fresh right it's a, a fresh take on and 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 again there are layers to the movie that it's up to the audience i guess to actually unravel it yeah because if again like who knows about henrietta uh lake lack i want to say i i don't remember her name that's really embarrassing but i don't right. but there's a there's a whole yeah i, I will i'm going to check out that movie now that we're talking about it there, HBO produced the movie. Oprah mm -hmm. produced the movie with HBO some years ago. Yeah, the, the, it. it's interesting. The girl, well, anyway, don't want to. Yeah, you, but you said it. It would be the same thing. I wouldn't pay. It wouldn't be my first choice. Mm -hmm. I would recommend people. So you would recommend it. this movie? I would recommend it for sure. Yeah, to Netflix viewers, I would absolutely say, hey, yeah. check this out. Matter of fact, I'm going to recommend it. Boom. Straight um, up. Netflix recommendation, check it out. Jason approved. Yeah. Movie passengers approved. You will enjoy this movie if you're into some cool action, cool special effects, you know, a little bit of social consciousness and in a story that's uh, relatively easy to follow. 
Yeah. Uh, sequel? A uh, sequel. Sequel. I was thinking that, like, midway through the movie, like, is there a sequel here? Could there be a, a, some more? And yeah, you could write a sequel to this. Uh, do you want to see a sequel to it? Well, I guess it depends how big it is. But if I, I could watch a sequel to it. I mean, of course, you're going to add more powers and, you know, uh, let me ask you this. Would you take the pill? Would you take the gamble? Would probably you take not. the pill? Probably not. I wouldn't take it either. I've never popped pills anyway. You know, especially after, well, I won't ruin any part of the movie, but I wouldn't take the pill. If I knew what the pill was going to do, then yeah, I would take it. You know what I mean? Knowing that it might help me in some dire need. But then you got to try it out. You got to see if you can, you know, sur survive the pill or not. Uh, and I don't know if I would ever even get to that point. I mean, I'm not a cop. You know, I'm not trying to save the city. So uh, I don't know if I would have a need to take this pill. At least I'm not trying to save the city like that. I'm not jumping from buildings trying to save a city. Oh, I also like how heavy handed they were with Clint Eastwood. Because the very first thing when I heard him talking, I was like, oh, my God, he's being Clint Eastwood. And it was like that. It was just like yeah. called out. And that, yeah, the the girl is great. Just like okay, so here's yeah. here's one last thing that I want to uh, catch on since you start talking about when you heard him talk, mm -hmm. uh, the accents. The accents are to they're in and out in this movie. Yeah. Some scenes there's accents. Some teen scenes there's no accents for scenes on it. I forgot they had accents at one point because I didn't hear an accent for like twenty minutes straight in this thing. Well, the only one that had one is. Justin Gordon Levitt, right? She had one too. I didn't even notice her accent until her and Jamie got to that uh, ca cash and go place. She got an accent? Yeah, she got an accent all of a sudden when they were sitting in the car talking before they went to the cash. Like a southern place. accent? I thought the yeah, only like one. Yeah, like a New Orleans accent. And, and that's why I was like, okay, that must be his choice. And he's like, I get oh. it. Movies are filmed out of order and, you know. Right. Well, no, I just, I just thought someone of his level, right? Both him and Jamie Foxx are like high caliber, you know, actors that put a lot. So I just thought, I imagine the directors didn't even like care. It's like, we just got this guy, you know, he can do yeah. whatever he wants. And he's like, I got these accent guys. Make it, make it movies are hard, man. I'm telling you, like, um, I, maybe I'm being like too uh, forgiving. Right. Uh, maybe I'm too forgiving with movies in general these days, but I mean, I get it. I, I would know why an actor, I know why an actor would slip in and out of accents in a movie. Well, I get it now. Right. But... Was it that obvious? I just remember, mm -hmm. and I guess because it sounded kind of weird. And I'm like, is that a New Orleans accent? Yeah, he slips out of it for a little bit and she slips into it for a little bit. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. It happens. What about in her rapping voice? Is it, is it, uh, in? yeah, her rapping voice? I didn't feel like that was New Orleans at all. I just felt like that was her. And then, like, I mean, I don't even think the police chief has an accent. <laughs> like, I, I mean, he talked twice also, so I don't, you don't have to be from New Orleans to be the New Orleans police chief, right? I mean, that's what true. Was, well, I would imagine you probably should hat? be. What was, that I, I don't think I've ever seen a police chief that is wearing like a baseball hat like a police chief baseball hat like he was in the field like a baseball hat yeah i've seen police chiefs wear baseball hats for sure but, i've like, seen navy commanders wear baseball hats right well that's that's a style his was just like a it was the weirdest hat it was throwing me off it was like and then there's a reason why right i mean a very Police chief. Well, th th that, and then he takes something from it. He takes a piece oh. of paper. That is the only two reasons why I was like, okay, he's barely going to be in the film, but we got to be able to, like, show who the police chief is. Oh, he wears a hat. All right. Yeah. How, how can we introduce this other character or, or get him going on his uh, B story or whatever? As quick as possible. As quick as possible. Take it out of the hat. Suggestions. Hat. Take it out. Here you go. Move on. I don't, anyway, I really enjoyed the movie. <laughs> I don't know. Good. Why. Good. I'm, giving it, I'm just giving it a... Uh, giving it a hard time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Giving these hardworking people a hard time. Okay. Uh, any, any other ideas about the movies before we get out of here? I really enjoyed it. 
I think it's a fun movie to watch, especially with other people. It's a fun action movie. And there's some really nice scenes. It's, and it has a little bit of everything. Not all encapsulated in one, but there are spurts of really good moments, of funny moments, great action scene, uh, just very thought-provoking things also going on. And I really enjoyed the cinematography of how different parts of the city or, or how they played with the colors and the camera movements and stuff like that. Uh, they those. definitely used a lot of New Orleans. They definitely made it look pretty cool and, you know, uh, pretty slick. And, and the use of music, I thought, was pretty good, too. Yeah, music and lights. Do you have any <laughs> final thoughts on this? Uh, you, no final thoughts. Just a, a, a recommendation for a cool movie to watch on a, any night of the week, really. Nice. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, I'm Jason. I'm Dino. And we're the Movie Passengers. Catch us next time. See you guys next time. Leave a comment in the thread if you uh, want to see any particular movie that we will review for you.